Round nine of the World Rally Championship saw the teams cross the globe to the unique sights and sounds of Rally Australia. Sebastian Ogier arrived down under, safe in the knowledge that a seventh win of the season would guarantee a third world title. But fighting through the worst of the loose gravel as the first car on the road saw the Frenchman off the pace early on. Elvin Evans, too, was out of sorts on day one. A spin and a puncture on the opening morning saw the Welshman slip further adrift. <laughs> Stefan Lefebvre was drafted in as a late stand-in for an injured Mads Osberg on his WRC gravel debut. The young Frenchman was in ninth until he collided with a rock on the leg's final stage. Chris Meek, meanwhile, was under pressure to turn his pace into points after a frustrating run of results, and the Northern Irishman responded well, leading for much of the day until he hit hanging dust on the leg's final stage. So it would be Yari Matti Latvala who ended the opening day in the lead. With a hat-trick of fastest times in the afternoon, the Finn replaced Meek in the top spot in stage eight. The second day was just as intense, but Ogier would steadily close on the leading runners. By the penultimate stage of Saturday, he was just a couple of seconds behind the leader. But for the second day in a row, having battled his way back into the top spot, Meek was again undone by hanging dust in the night stage that ended the second leg. The Northern Irishman slipped to second and was furious at the end of the day. And the bewildered Evans was still having a torrid time down under. Uncomfortable all day, the Welshman had a remarkable escape in the darkness of stage 12. I think turn around, he needs to turn around here. Yeah. Latvala would do all he could to push for a third win of the season, but there would be a late scare for the Finn on the final day when a heavy impact on a compression damaged his alternator. Only road section repairs, preventing a late retirement with the end in sight. But with a clean sweep of stage wins on the final leg, there would have been little Latvala could do anyway. Ogier securing a seventh victory of another dominant season and a third successive world title. So many great performances and I think this one this weekend is once again a very, very high one. It was for sure the most difficult rally to open the road and still we managed to win it, so it's a perfect way to get the third title again with a victory. Ogier claiming his 31st career victory by a margin of 12.3 seconds over Latvala with Meek claiming a sixth podium ahead of Mickelson. And there is confirmation that with an unassailable lead of 101 points, Ogier retained the world title with three rounds to spare. The manufacturer's championship had also been secured for Volkswagen, but it's all still to fight for in the battle for the runner-up spot. Ogier, Ingrassia and Volkswagen, the 2015 World Rally Champions. Next up, a return to the legendary Tour de Course for the Frenchman's victory parade on home soil.